welcome students in the previous video we have already discussed about introduction of permutation and we have seen a formula npr is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial another formula the same formula in another pattern is written as npr is equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 up to n minus r plus 1 both are same formula whenever this factorial has been expanded and simplified we will get this expression okay and this is the formula for permutations permutations means we have already discussed in the previous video that is nothing but arrangements of r objects taken at a time out of given n total objects and we have discussed in the previous video that sometimes this npr can be written as pnr also only a symbol way of representation is different but formula is same so let us start this topic very interesting topic with the help of a very simple question suppose we have to evaluate 10 p 3 Here n is equal to how much? N is equal to ten, and r is equal to how much? R is equal to three, and we will use the formula. N p r is equal to n factorial by n minus r whole factorial. So therefore, ten p three will be how much? Ten factorial. In place of n factorial, we are writing ten factorial. N is equal to ten, and r is three. So n minus r factorial means ten. Minus three factorial, and this is equal to ten factorial by seven factorial. We will simplify further. This ten factorial is ten into nine into eight into seven factorial divided by seven factorial. Here you might have understood it because it's seven factorial. We have multiplications starting from one. One to seven is here. One into two into three into four into five into six into seven. Into eight, into nine, into ten. So this is ten factorial, and denominator is seven factorial. Okay, and uh, here this seven factorial will be cancelled out. So we are getting eight into nine into ten is equal to seven hundred twenty. So ten p three is equal to seven hundred twenty. This is the answer. We can use this formula also for solving this problem. Okay. so let us use this formula so 10 p 3 we have to evaluate this one here you must remember that we are starting in descending order here n n minus 1 n minus 2 up to how many factors n minus r factors not n minus r plus 1 factor n minus r factor because this is first factor this is second factor this is third factor this is fourth factor so this fourth factor is nothing but n minus 4 plus 1 this is fourth factor you see this number 4 here so this is fourth factor similarly if r is here then this is rth factor rth factor so n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 we are writing in descending order up to how many factors r factors so if we follow this pattern here Then this can be written as 10 into 9 into how many factors we have to write here? Three factors. 10 minus 3 plus 1. That will be last factor. 10 minus 3 is 7. Plus 1 is 8. So 10 into 9 into 8. Understood? We are writing only three factors here. And last factor. Eight is in this form, n minus r plus one, ten minus three plus one, ten minus three here is seven plus one is eight. So last factor is eight. So we can use this expansion is this expansion also here for solving this problem. So this is equal to how much? Seven hundred twenty-two. So same answer we are getting in both the cases. Only form of formula is different. Both formula are same. 
So this is the answer. So I hope you have understood it. Question is very simple. We will see some more problems in other videos.